Greetings, Winnipeg. And the rest of the world, family and friends, beloved and enemies. I have enemies. Um, check it. COVID is rough. Um, a lot of cats are struggling back in my in my country. And meanwhile, here in um, in Winnipeg, in Manitoba, we've only had. I think we've had under 300 cases and and pretty much almost everyone's healed here. So uh, we're very, very fortunate. And uh, I guess living here has been really, really good for me. And I love my experience here in, in Canada and in Winnipeg for that matter. Um, it's, been a, it's been a good experience and, and I've learned a lot and I've also shared a lot and uh, yeah, I'm, um, I, people, I keep getting messages from people during COVID and, and because a lot of us haven't seen each other. And people are, you know, inviting me to things and saying, hey, you should come check this out at the film group and do this and do that. And I have to tell them, hey, I'm no longer with the film group. Uh, as of April 6th at 4 p.m., that's about six years and four days I no longer work at the film group. And, uh, you know, it's sad. It's really sad, but, you know, um, you know, the film group wants to restructure and they want to do their thing and that's cool. Uh, and now I'm free to do mine. A lot of people are expressing concern and sadness and yeah, it's sad. It's the end of, an, of a particular era because, you know, I help to bridge a lot of diversity a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of support for women and um, brought in a lot of youth and definitely changed the dynamic that it was before. But, you know, it's time to move on and do my own thing. And currently I have some things I'm working on and I want to stay in Winnipeg and I want to continue building the community and doing things that I start, set out to do. And, you know, I got love for the film group. You know, it's the place where like I said, I shared a lot and it gave me a lot. I feel extremely positive. I feel very strong. Um, I got lots of hair that I need to get rid of. Um, and, uh, you know, I know everybody's struggling, you know, stay strong and, and, and support one another. I think there's a lot of, you know, because of disconnected, you know, there's a lot of people not connecting and this is the best time to connect, you know? This is a beautiful time to connect and this is a good time to kind of reflect and and build yourself and kind of look inwards and and kind of look and see what your strengths are and where you want to go. Life might alter and change, but I do think there will be some some leveling out and so we need to be preparing for that. You know, I'm prepared for that. Like I'm in my cocoon right now and I'm going to butterfly out like a butter bin and um man you know, it's a beautiful day for those of you who like the sun and like the, 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 the I mean, it's nice breeze, so I feel all right, but this is a beautiful day. You know, some of you, I guess, can't really go out, but, but appreciate the moments of your breath because every breath matters and every second you take to, 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 to look after yourself or after someone you care about means something and it's, and it's impactful to others, you know? So, um, that's my message. My message is positivity and staying healthy and and building bridges and going beyond. You know, that's where the head is. That's where I rock. And that's where I roll. This is the inner soul. So I'm done.